One of the big requirements in Sri Lanka has been the need to drop the costs of fuel, which in turn will be less greenhouse gas emissions and good for the environment. FAO have taken this effort forward in terms of the bulbous bow, which will save on average 15% of the fuel used on every fishing trip that these boats uh, do. Two meter tank models of the boat were made and they were tested for the efficiency with the bulbous bow and without the bulbous bow. It is, as you see, forward of the stem line or the front of the boat. When the boat moves through the water, the boat pushes the water and creates a wave that comes back and impacts the hull and creates a certain kind of resistance on the hull. What the bulbous bow does, it also creates a wave because it's slightly forward of the stem of the boat. But the phase of the wave is exactly opposite to the phase of the wave created by the actual hull. And they cancel each other out or they break up the wave created by the hull and they diminish the resistance of the boat as she travels to the water significantly. This will result primarily in the fuel saving exercise. Beside fuel saving, the use of a bulbous bow is fantastic for the sea keeping of the vessel. Balapur Uttu Inama making Indana Siyata Vissak Dahayat Vissak Tatra Apita Pirimyasma Kati Veke in Balapur Uttu Inama. Indana Vitharakne Me Ape Gamana Yatra Ape Gamana Vega Vedi Veke in Balapur Uttu Atta Peti Inama. Me Varayang Yore Yatra Pantiya Kuru Pita Tino Yore Dedaak Dedaak Pantiya Rakya Karna Vega Me Hai Kuru Veke Me Yatra Dilu 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 Hai Kuru Atta Tino we have already, from people seeing the bulbous bow, we already have two big builders and um, people, owners of fishing boats who are currently building, who are interested in already adopting this bulbous bow on the next few new generation of boats. <laughs>